Good day everyone. I am Abhishek Day, a quant mentor at IMS International and I am thrilled to announce our newest initiative, GMAT Fridays. Every Friday, one of our experts will delve into a GMAT question covering topics from QR, VR or DI. Today, let's kick off with a quant question. Here it is. Now, if you want to give a shot, pause the video, try it and then resume to see the solution. Okay, now let's analyze the question first and then we will move to the solution. The data sufficiency question in which two statements are given and we need to discuss which statement helps to get to the answer. Now let's go ahead with the question. X and Y are consecutive odd integers and X is less than Y. What is the value of X plus Y? Now let's discuss what are consecutive odd integers. What are integers? Numbers like 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and so on. And negative 1, negative 2, negative 3, negative 4, negative 5 and so on. What are odd integers? Integers like 1, 3, 5, 7 and so on. And negative 1, negative 3, negative 5, negative 7 and so on. What are pair of consecutive odd integers? Integers like 1, 3, 3, 5, 5, 7 and so on. And negative 1, 1, negative 3, negative 1, negative 5, negative 3. So we are actually searching one of such pairs, right? Now let's go ahead with the first step. Now, it is given that product of two number is equal to 0. Now, if A times B is equal to 0, can I say that at least 1 is equal to 0? Either A is 0 or B is 0 or both are 0. That means if I say that x times x plus 1 is 0, either x is 0 or x plus 1 is 0. But it is given in the question that x is an odd integer. That means x cannot be 0. Then 0 is an even integer. That means x is equal to minus x is equal to minus 1. What is y? y can either be minus 1, sorry, y can either be minus 3 or 1, right? Why? Because we can make two pair of consecutive odd integers using minus 1 as one of the integers. Minus 1 and minus 3 and minus 1 and 1, right? See, in the last the screen we have already done minus 1, minus 3 and minus 1, 1 are the two pair of consecutive odd integers that we can make using minus 1 as one of the integers. So in this case, my x is minus 1 and y is minus 3. In this case, my x is minus 1 and y is 1. There is one more condition given in the question that x is less than y. But in this case, my x is more than y. That means this section is not valid or this option is not valid. But in this case, my x is less than y. So I can go ahead with this solution. That means x is minus 1 and y is right now can we find x and y x plus y yes x plus y is 0 but do we need to find x plus y no it's what it was a data sufficiency question in which we just have to discuss whether the statement is sufficient to answer the question right in this case yes it was sufficient to answer the question right that means statement 1 alone is sufficient to answer the question right but can we go ahead with option 1 or option a no because option a says statement 1 alone is sufficient to answer the question but not statement 2 since we have not discussed the statement we cannot go ahead with the first option right now let's discuss the second option so here's the second statement where product of x and y is less than 0 that means product of two number is less than 0 or negative can both x and y be positive? No, because product of two positive number is positive. Can both x and y be negative? No, again, because product of two negative number is again positive. That means exactly one of them is negative and the other is positive. And we are searching for a pair of consecutive integers in which one is negative and the other is positive. Let me take you to the first slide. Try to find the pair of consecutive odd integers in which one is negative and the other one is positive. See, 
is the only pair that is negative 1 and 1 is the only pair where one of them is negative and the other one is positive that means x is minus 1 and y is 1 that means statement 2 is also sufficient to answer the question that means answer to this question is option d that means each statement alone is sufficient to answer the question i hope that's all for today thank you so much for watching this video if you like this video give it a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe the channel till then bye bye